were originally from the Netherlands. We immigrated um, to Canada in 2006 and um, so we have been here um, this coming May for 15 years. We have been raising sheep for about eight years and my favorite part of raising sheep is the lambs because of how cute they are. To make use of the land, we, we, we decided on sheep like because it's something we can do as a family and the kids don't get hurt when even sheep run over them, right? Me and Anki are going to be the shepherds, so it'll either be me and my mom there because somebody needs to be 18, and then Anki's going to be accompanying us whenever she has the chance. Well, we wanted to join the Fort Saskatchewan flock mainly because of the enthusiasm of the, the last shepherds, Ralph and Kathy Playden. We got acquainted with them through the sheep, and they were so enthusiastic about the program and uh, meeting the people that, yeah, they kind of helped us get excited about it. I'm definitely most excited about being able to meet new people and educate them on having sheep and the farm life. The type of sheep that are coming to Fort Saskatchewan are uh, fin sheep, that's a heritage breed. One very cool thing about our sheep is that the fins can have up to eight lambs in their litter. A normal amount is usually two, sometimes three. I would want to share with the kids of Fort Saskatchewan that if they interact with the sheep that they have to be nice and quiet, that they can run and they can yell and they can scream because that's just going to scare them away. So if they would just come walking up and, and these sheep will have, in no time they have it figured out that there will be treats or attention because a lot of them just like the attention, like to be petted, then the sheep just will come to them. And because when one sheep comes the whole flock will follow, it'll be will be crowded in no time. They don't have to worry about really getting hurt because even if the sheep would crowd them, they're so soft and squishy. Thank you for discussion and see you June 2nd.